Hello guys, welcome to another video session from Karin's Biology. You knew that we have started the lesson What is Science? And in the previous session, I told you the definition of science and I have also explained you about different types of science basing on the process that is observational science and experimental science. And in this session, we are going to move a little bit forward and find out about societal and individual perspectives of science. Okay children, let's enter into the topic. So before I begin, let us recall what we have learnt in the previous class. In the previous session, I told you that the word science comes from a Latin word called scientia, which means knowledge. And we have also discussed the definition of science. So what's the definition of science? Science is the concerted human efforts to understand better the history of the human world and how the natural world works with observable physical evidence. And then I have also told you that there is two types of science basing on the process. One is observational science and other one is the experimental science. So this is what we have discussed in the last class. So let us move forward and find out about uh, why do science. Dear children, have you ever wondered why do scientists work hard in making new discoveries and new inventions? Why do they do? What motivated these scientists to devote their lives to develop this new knowledge? If you observe any scientist, they will be always doing something. They will always be doing their research. They may be collecting data about something and they may be uh, you know, doing some experiment and they will completely devote their lives to develop this knowledge that we have today. It is the knowledge that is developed by the scientists we are learning through our textbooks. What is special which is motivating the scientists to completely dedicate their lives to develop this knowledge? So it is somewhat difficult for us to explain this. But we can try to explain this in two different perspectives. What are they? One is the individual perspective and other one is the societal perspective. Individual perspective in a sense that some scientists, they may be doing science or they may be, uh, you know, exploring the nature because they were interested personally in doing so. And there may be some other people who may be doing that for the sake of society. So let us enter and first of all find out about individual perspective of science. You know, scientists collect information to test new ideas or to disprove old ones. Children, there are so many scientists because of whose hard work nowadays we have this knowledge. Everything, each and everything that you are learning from your textbook is from the minds of these great people. And do you know how do they do that? If you look at any scientist as I told you earlier, they will be always busy in collecting the data. For doing science or for doing research, you need to first of all observe as we have seen about observational science and uh, experimental science. First of all, you need to observe your surroundings. After observing, you need to collect the data. So that's why most of these scientists, they will keep themselves in collecting the information from their surroundings. And when they collect information, they may get a new idea and that idea may obviously may disprove the old idea. Right, children? And next, uh, scientists, uh, because of their work and because of their discovery, because of the inventions that they have made, they become famous. For example, uh, you know, some scientists might have discovered a dinosaur and it had become a very interesting thing to the people of the world when the people made discovery of the bones of dinosaurs. Now you see here how these people are, uh, you know, de carefully digging the soil and carefully extracting the bones, putting the bones side by side and trying to frame the uh, skeleton of the dinosaur. By that, they are able to make a model of how dinosaurs would have appeared, right? And it may be a discovery of new species of dinosaur and it may be also a discovery uh, regarding how the atoms bind in a particular chemical compound. All these discoveries and inventions that they have made, they fascinated the people and the people tried to knew about these scientists. As a result, the scientists, they have become famous. Right now, you can see here, there are so many scientists, especially from India and also from other countries. You knew about these scientists because they become famous. So some of the scientists, they discover new things and because of that, they may become famous individually, right? Not only that, children. Many scientists, they find their greatest joy in previously unknown fact that explains some problem previously not explained, right? You see, scientists, when they discover a new thing, that means it is completely new to the mankind. Nobody, no one ever invented or discovered that thing, right? And when you do that, you become very happy, first of all, 
okay and in addition to that you be, your heart will be filled with joy because you have given something new to the world okay don't think that the scientists are doing uh, everything because they wanted to become famous they do that not only to become famous but they find joy in that you know you know children different people find their joy in making different things like this these scientists they find joy in making these new discoveries and inventions so that is about individual perspective now let us find out what about the societal perspective children do you know that societies and nations pay these scientists to do science yes societies and nations they pay money to these scientists and why they are paying money they are paying money to the scientists because they want them to do science and make new discoveries and inventions understood children then why society devotes some of its resources to these scientists to develop new ideas that means the government sometimes government is elected by the people so when the government is providing some money to the scientists to do science you know the government is getting the money by the taxes that the people in society are paying when the government is paying money that means the people in society are indirectly paying money to the scientists to develop new ideas then why people in society uh, has to provide some money to the scientist children the answers can be different okay the first answer may be there may be desire to improve people's life and second one society's desire for economic development and other one and even simple curiosity and satisfaction okay some people they get uh, curious and they will be satisfied when that curiosity is fulfilled by gaining some knowledge right so these are the three reasons why the people in the society are paying money to the scientist let us discuss one by one first let us take up desire to improve people's life you know children every person in the society wants to live happily they want to lead a comfortable life without any health issues particularly health issues and there are lot of people on this planet who are suffering from health issues uh, from various diseases and uh, the most important of all the diseases are maybe the diseases that are transmitted from generation to generation and when you are getting such type of diseases such as thalassemia uh, cancer leukemia and if you try to understand how these diseases are transmitted from person to person you may put a check to that right you may be able to uh, you know protect the babies against getting these two these diseases right so the government in order to do research about how the certain diseases are passed on from generation to generation the government may pay money to some of the scientist called geneticist who can study and understand how some of these diseases are transmitted from person to person or generation to generation and once they understand how they are transmitted from generation to generation they may be able to find a solution to that right that's one of the reason why these societies are paying money to this not only genetic disorders some of the common diseases are there which can be transmitted by some of the biological agents and if you can't understand how the diseases are transmitted they spread rapidly which may lead to pandemics and most of the people in this planet earth may be affected by that so that's the reason why governments sometimes they appoint some people some biologists to study study how the diseases are transmitted from person to person because once we get the understanding of how the diseases are transmitted from person to person we may be able to find a solution to stop the transmission of diseases so that most of the people's lives can be saved and not only that earth scientists for example they may be developing better models for the prediction of earthquakes landslides and volcanic eruptions children these are the natural disasters which are very hard to predict you cannot predict by what time earthquake may struck your area and we cannot even predict when landslides happen and when the volcanoes erupt when the scientists develop a better model for the prediction of these earthquakes landslides and volcanic eruptions we may be able to save the lives of some of the people okay children look here you can see a landslide here and you can uh, see an earthquake and you can see how a volcano is erupting here these are the natural disasters which are very hard to predict and in order to make instruments to predict this natural disaster earlier so that we can save some lives it requires lot of sophisticated equipment and also it requires an intense research by the people who are uh, doing research in this area right children and then how do the scientists get that information how do they do the research without any money right but remember one thing children when these people are working hard and when they find the solution to the problems that you are facing the benefit will be to all the people in the society that's why it is the responsibility of the society to provide some money to these people so that they can do the research and they can come forward with a better solution to the problems we are facing so that's why any society concerned about the welfare of its people which is at least any democratic society should do will support efforts like these to better people's lives
and the second one is society's desire for economic development there are some societies who want to develop economically so that when the society develops economically the lives of the people in that society will be very nice right and that's why most of the earth scientists devote their life to find more effective ways to recover natural resources and remember children the economic development of any society it largely depends upon the natural resources that are available in that country do you know about dubai yes this is dubai and uh, one of the most interesting thing about dubai is there are no other resources except natural resources such as petroleum there is so much crude oil available in dubai because of that dubai has now become a one of the richest countries in the world and next one plant scientists trying to increase the agricultural output that nutritionally and literally enrich the nation and children economic development may also depend upon the agricultural output if you are able to produce more product out of agriculture the product can be transported to other countries so that economically the nation becomes strong and for that what the government is doing the government is investing some money on the plant scientists it is so that they can produce some new varieties of plants genetically modified plants which is able to produce huge output of uh, food so that it can meet the demand of food requirement in our country and also we are able to export that uh, excessive food that you get out of it to other countries so that economically our country gets the benefit and some of the chemists developing new chemical substances with potential technological applications physicists developing new phenomena like superconductivity why all these people are doing this why the government is investing money on all these people all these scientists because out of the research that they do out of the result that we get our country may be able to economically develop in a world where nations want economic development they support such scientists so that they can get the benefit and economically country becomes rich and the third one is simple curiosity and satisfaction there are some countries who are already developed that doesn't mean that the country can stop the investment on science because sometimes even for simple curiosity and satisfaction also the countries spend money on scientist okay society support science because of simple curiosity and because of the satisfaction and enlightenment that comes from knowledge of the world around us understood children so that's about the societal perspective so i hope children you understood very well about individual perspective and societal perspective of science so that's all for today children in my coming session i will be teaching about science and change okay so that's all for today children thank you we will meet in the next session